In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own color palette using the Color Palette Designer in Digital Scrapbook Artist 2. Over here is your color palette, and if for any reason you don't see yours, just click on the Color tab. Now go to the button that says More, click on it, and you're in your Color Palette Designer. On the right-hand side is your color palette, and it's the same color palette that's over here. In the middle section is a preview of colors that you can easily add to your palette. Now this preview is made up of colors that are underneath the circles that you see here. So I've got five circles in the color wheel and I've got one circle in the triangle. In the triangle you're going to notice the circle is actually your base color. Anywhere you move in the circle your base color is going to sh change to that shade. Over on the color wheel, you can easily just click anywhere and you're going to notice that these colors will start to change. You can also hold down your left mouse button and just drag around the color wheel and the same thing happens, the preview colors change. You can also spread out where these little circles go by going to angle and just stretching it to the right hand side or rotating it to the other side. Then underneath here you have contrast. You can change the color contrast as well and at any time if you want to go to white up here in the triangle or black or any shades in between you can easily do that as well and you have full control over the shading of your colors. Once you're happy with colors you can easily add them yourself. Before you do that you may want to try out the spread Currently I'm using monochromatic, but you can pull down the tab and try something else. There's complementary. When you click on that, you're going to notice that you have your um, base, which is here, and you've got your black point with your circle, and then you've got the opposite color. So here you can see some colors that might work well together, and you can also, of course, change the angles of this at any time. I'm just going to go back to monochromatic. And this time what I'd like to do is maybe add a couple of these greens into my palette. So one way of doing it is to hold down your left mouse button and you're just going to drag the colors in that you want to add and they'll instantly show up here as well. Now at any time if you don't like the positioning of a color you can hold down your left mouse button and just drag the color into the position that you might be using more often. When you're happy with that you just click on save name your color palette and then save again. And then next time when you click on load you find that color palette it will be in the exact order as you want it to be. Now currently it doesn't happen in real time over here but again if you did load it it would. Another thing that you can do is, let's just go to a different color section, is you can notice that you have an arrow. This is the beginning of the arrow and this is the ending. Any color that is before the arrow begins or after the arrow ends could be applied into your palette. So for example if I wanted to start with this dark color and end with this light color where the arrow is I click on add range and that is exactly what happens. Now at any time if I decide I want to change the arrow's direction I can click over here and I can just change the direction and again click on add range and those colors are now added for me. If you want to change a color manually, you can go to the color and you can right click on it and click on edit. Now the color picker window opens up so let me just activate that. Over here you have red, green and blue and if you know the numbers for certain colors you can easily add them into here. On the top is my old color and at the bottom is my new color. The new color would be represented by a color I click on or change the shade of. Once I'm happy with my new color, I just click on OK and that color now changes over here. You can also right click on any of these colors and if you no longer want them, click on delete and answer yes. If you want to delete a whole bunch of them but you don't always want to answer yes, then hold down the control key on your keyboard, then right click and then delete and you will not be getting that question asking if you want to delete it. Another thing that you can do is right click and click on the palette manager. Over here now you have different colors and they're all in your palettes over here. This one is actually right here and the colors underneath are the colors from left to right. If you click on any of these colors you now have the red, green and blue 
or the cyan, magenta, yellow, and key black colors. So you could enter those numbers into the add color, which would just be done by going over to, let's close this, right clicking, clicking on add, now you've got your color picker again, and over here you could add those colors to get the exact same color. All right, now one more thing. If you want to have an embellishment such as this teddy bear, which I took from the Country Cousins kit, available on the Daisy Trail website, you can easily make complementary colors that you would put over here. So first of all, I'm going to clear this by clicking on Clear and saying Yes. Now I'm going to go down here to the color picker, holding down my left mouse button, I'm going to go into this bare image. You're going to notice that a little box follows me around and in the box is a cross. Right in the center of that cross is the color that you land on. When you're happy with it, you let go of it and here is your complementary colors. You can click on Add All and then of course you can save it. If you want to make the colors a little bit brighter, you can add all again and now you've got some different shades. When you click on Save, you name your file, save it, and then you can load it at any time. Now, what I would like to show you is if you're going to clear this, for example, and you're going to try out some of the colors that come with Digital Scrapbook Artist 2, you could just pull down this tab and select a color. I'm going to click on Earth, and as you can see, Earth is over in my palette, but it's not over here yet. So to bring it over here, I'm going to click on Load, I'm going to find Earth, select it, and click on Open, and now it's over here. I'm just going to close this for a second. Now, if at any time I want to use these colors, but they sort of cut off over here, you can easily activate them so that you can see them. So all you do is you go over to this arrow right here, you're going to left click on it and click on Collapse. Then you go to this arrow, left click on it, click on Collapse, and now you've got all the colors in your color palette that you can easily work with. If at any time you want to restore that, you just click again and click on Expand, left click again and click on Expand. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching.